The power struggle between the military and the Muslim Brotherhood dates back to the Nasser era in 1950s and 1960s when he cracked down on the group and it was outlawed after an assassination attempt on his life. This continued with Anwar Sadat, another army general, who was assassinated by the Islamists in 1981, while Mubarak had outlawed the group during his presidency. 2008 saw the first presence of the Brotherhood on the political scene. In 2008, the Brotherhood entered the political arena and were allowed to contest parliamentary elections as independents. The Muslim Brotherhood were becoming a considerable force in the community with charity work and posing as religious leaders. They gathered a huge following and garnered a third of the seat despite them being outlawed. After the 2011 uprising that led to the resignation of Mubarak, the Muslim Brotherhood became a legal entity with an official political party, the Freedom and Justice Party. The Brotherhood won all elections and ballots after the 2011 uprising, pushing aside the army generals and their candidates. Mohamed Morsi, a Brotherhood leader, became the first Egyptian civilian president. After 60 years of army rule, the people wanted an alternative. The Brotherhood were the only well-organized, well-funded organization that could face the military. They were the viable option. But it was a victory short-lived. A year after assuming power, the group was ousted from the presidency in an uprising in 2013, led by another army general, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. They returned underground, resorted to violence in retaliation. The leaders were put behind bars and the group was branded a terrorist organization. The struggle continues. At this point, the military is the superior power. But as some experts say, the Brotherhood still exists and this could only just be another chapter in the long-term struggle between the group and the military. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.